One of the most common causes of eye crossing in children is due to a condition called accommodative esotropia. Accommodative esotropia is crossing of the eyes, which is esotropia, caused by accommodation, which is focusing. So in order for the child to see well, they have to exert extra focusing effort, both distance and near, and that extra focusing effort normally leads to an eye crossing. When we accommodate, our eyes come in. So we look up close to see something and your eyes naturally come in to focus on it and that's normal. But some kids, when they accommodate and focus hard to see clearly, they kind of overdo it and the eyes come in too much. In that case, then when that eye is crossing in because they're focusing, that's accommodative esotropia. It's so tied intimately to the focusing and the farsightedness that the cure for this is really wearing the glasses. So if you bring your child in and their eye is crossing and we dilate their pupils and we find that they're farsighted, we're going to give them glasses. Because if the crossing is happening because they're accommodating and focusing, we want to correct that. So we put the glasses on the child, now the child's wearing glasses. The eye itself doesn't have to do all the focusing to see clearly, the glasses are doing the focusing. And what we look for as that child relaxes into the glasses, that the eyes will straighten. Because now the glasses are doing the focusing, the eyes can stay straight and work together. Now, when the glasses are put on, immediately the child does not know to relax their focusing because the over-focusing has become so instinctive. And so with the glasses on, the child needs to wear them continuously to learn how to relax their focusing, accept the lens correction, and then straighten the eyes. A couple things happen along the way with this. We give you a prescription for glasses, you get the glasses, you put them on your child, they don't like them. They say, my vision's blurry, I don't see well, or they're little, they're two, three, they may not be able to verbalize that to you, and they just start looking over the glasses or taking the glasses off, and you think, well, these must be wrong. My child isn't seeing well with them. And this is something that does happen rather often with kids that we're first putting into a farsighted cor correction or glasses because this child has been used to having to accommodate and focus to see clearly on their own with no help. So their, their brain is telling their eyes, focus, focus, focus. Now we put glasses on. The brain doesn't know yet to relax that accommodation. So the brain is still telling the eyes, focus, focus, focus. Now the glasses are focusing, the eyes are focusing, and it's blurry. And the way around that is just to keep encouraging your child to keep the glasses on. If the glasses are off and on, the brain is constantly getting mixed signals and is going to keep focusing. So you work with your child to get them to keep the glasses on. The more they wear the glasses, the sooner they will relax into them. But eventually, these young children, once they get past that period of getting used to the glasses, they're looking for their glasses. They want their glasses on. Life is easier. Their vision's clear, they're not straining, their eyes aren't crossing. Their world is binocular. They like, kids like their two eyes working together. What you will see once the child is placed in their glasses, with their glasses on, we expect their crossing to be much improved, if not completely resolved. But what you will see is the minute they take their glasses off for bedtime, bath time, uh, swimming, that their eyes will go right back to crossing. But that's okay. All we care about from here on out is what they're doing with their glasses on. So when the glasses are off, the reason why they continue to cross is because the eye starts to accommodate again because they're, they're hyper is still there and it's not being relieved by the glasses so they start to converge and cross again. The most important factor in this whole situation is what does your child look like when the glasses are on? If their eyes are straight when the glasses are on we know that the glasses are working for him and this is what he needs. It is true that in many children, the farsightedness will improve as they get older, particularly as they get into their teenage years. 
We generally tell parents to expect that they will be in glasses probably till at least their early teens, but maybe permanently. It all depends on how strong their prescription was at the start and how much it changes over uh, several years. And the way you'll know that, sometimes you notice your child, they start maybe looking over their glasses a little bit more or telling you they're not seeing as well. That could be a sign that their farsightedness is decreasing. But really how you will know is, is during those annual visits when we dilate the pupils, the doctor will look and measure again and they can see that that farsightedness is decreasing. Kids can tell when their eyes are working together and that's really what we're looking for. It isn't okay to have one eye crossed in, especially in a young child because then vision doesn't develop normally.